Australia has pledged to support any American retaliation against those behind the terrorist attacks in New York and Washington. The commitment came from both sides of politics, as a security shield was thrown around the US Embassy in Canberra, and Australian government buildings were given increased protection. With the first news of the horrific events in New York and Washington, Australia's counter-terrorism plan swung into action. Intelligence and security experts working through the night, reporting to Acting Prime Minister John Anderson at 7am. We've not seen anything like this. A sc the scale of it, the meticulous planning of it. Mr Anderson spoke to Mr Howard in Washington, then arranged a phone hookup of cabinet ministers. And when it came to the question of whether to support retaliation by the US, Australia's political leaders did not hesitate. We will help them. Uh, we will support uh, actions they take to properly retaliate uh, in relation to these acts of bastardry uh, against their citizens uh, and against what they stand for. Acts of evil like this cannot go unpunished. You commit an act of war and you apply to it deadly force, you receive deadly force in return. If the United States establishes who's responsible, and they decide to deal um, um, strongly with those people, uh, we'll support that. Well before dawn, new security arrangements were being put in place. The US Embassy in Canberra was locked down, extra police and protective services guards brought in, an exclusion zone established around the complex. Everything stopped except the wildlife. Well, make sure, make sure it's okay. Protection was also stepped up at US consulates in Melbourne, Sydney and Perth and special measures were taken to safeguard US warships in Australian ports. On all the advice that we have, there are no concerns in respect of Australia's security situation. Just the same, Parliament House in Canberra and other federal government buildings were put on special alert. Late this afternoon, at a special Canberra church service for the victims of the terrorist attacks, Governor-General Peter Hollingworth spoke on behalf of all Australians. To the American people, we say, we stand beside you today in your grief, in your horror, in your moral outrage. Laurie Oaks, National 9 News.